back in one way or another. <laughs> English 101. I'm not going to do a lot of talking because I'll give you a written assignment sheet for what's coming up. You have finished your final paper. The only two activities we have left to go in this semester is an annotated bibliography, which you may have done for another class already. Uh, if not, it's, it's a very cut and dry assignment. It takes a little bit of time, but it's not, it's an easy one to do well on. Uh, and you have your MLA exam, which should be easy for you because you've been using MLA all this time at this point. So rather than do it at the beginning, we're gonna wait until you've completely internalized everything and then the exam should be easy for you. These are both relatively small compared to your paper. Your unit paper, was is by far the biggest grade of the entire course. I think it's 25%. Teachers, make sure your live link is accessible and students are aware of where to go. Uh, some have been calling already, uh, waiting to get on to first period, have access to first period. So that's what it's like here at school today. <laughs> and it's probably going to be like for a while. <laughs> but your unit paper was by far your biggest grade. So if you have not turned in your unit paper, prioritize that. Because you can pass the course. You may not do great in it, but you can pass the course without your annotated bibliography, and even if you fail your MLA exam, you may be looking at a C or a D, but you can pass. You almost certainly will fail without your that 25% unit paper. That sort of acts as the exit exam for the course. You have to pass it in order to pass. So if you haven't done that yet, prioritize that. If you have done that, then you've done some research already. How many sources did you have on your unit paper? Three. Perfect. Three. Most of you should have had at least three. An annotated bibliography, you take your works cited page, which was at the end of your unit paper, you take your works cited page and you simply expand it and turn it in as a separate assignment. If you did not have three sources, you'll need to make sure you do. If you did not have any library database sources, you will need to make sure you do for this assignment. Take your works cited page and simply annotate it. Ms. Gallagher, do you know what annotate means? Um, to like take note of? Yes. To add notes, right in the middle of the word. So your works cited page will consist of the works cited entry, which is what you've already got that tells how to find it, and three additional sentences. A very brief summary, how you found the source, and how it was useful. you and the board so. so this is a very very cut and dry assignment it will appear as work cited entry paragraph work cited entry paragraph work cited entry paragraph it may roll on to a second page but for most of you it's unlikely to you will hanging indent it just like you did your work cited page so I'm hoping that by leaving this until after the paper under the circumstances that it will make it easier for you or at least it'll make it go quicker. But you've already done all this research. You've already used these sources. 
So I'm hoping that will that will make it easier for you. And then we've got the little MLA exam coming up at the very end. We'll I'll give you some reading study guide kind of stuff on that. But I really expect, since you have been doing MLA on your actual papers in practice, that that's going to be that should be easy for you. Okay. If I need to remind you, our standing um, Google Meet link, our Google Meet room is always Bentley Cass 209. My name, C-A-T-S, 209, which is our room number. Brianna, do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll let you get to work on that then. I'll let you all get to work on that.